Hi guys, so I'm on my break at work, but oh my goodness, I just gotta show you guys something amazing. So I received two amazing revelations today. I know, Pentecost Sunday, hallelujah. Okay, so <laughs> it's so exciting because it's mind blowing, it'll change your life forever. So the first one is, so you know when you feel dry inside your heart, right? Dry on the inside, and then you feel so bone dry and you're just wondering why. You're reading the Bible, you're worshiping, you're doing all this, but you still feel so dry. And then um, you love that feeling when your heart feels like it's watered, you know, like the rain come and water your heart and the mist come and you're walking with God in the cool of the day inside the garden of your heart. You know that feeling? And we want that feeling all the time. We never want a dry moment in our Christian life. And yet, a lot of times we feel so dry. And so I battled with that for years, guys. I was battling it and battling it until like one time then the rain came down in dry California, it was raining. And I love the rain, guys. I love it so much. The rain came down, but I felt bone dry on the inside, which made me feel really sad because one, California rarely gets rain anyway, so just seeing the rain is so exciting. But I also want the deep down inside for it to rain inside my heart, outside and inside. And so, yeah, that really drove me to my knees. And I was like, Lord, I'm so tired. I want it to rain inside my heart. And then, um, then it hit me the holy spirit said this okay while i was on my knees he told me jesus is the rain and that hit me so hard i was like every time god talks okay it hits you like a freight train <laughs> a good freight train <laughs> but anyway i was like oh my goodness jesus is the rain i used to think like the rain is maybe worship is the rain or revelation or reading the word or something something is the rain but then holy spirit was like remember jesus is the rain and then um he made it more specific later on when he told me the blood of jesus is the rain so jesus and the blood of jesus is the rain so when you feel dry all you have to do is think about jesus on the cross christ crucified think about his wounds think about his blood that flowed down when you just think about the blood of jesus when you think about the sacrifice he made when you think about the gospel what really key on, on the blood here because the blood is the rain the blood applied on your heart is the rain feeling all right and we we all desire this you know one of the most popular um songs in the church right now is what is that open the floodgates of heaven and let it rain right we we it might mean physical rain but we're really talking about spiritual rain here and why are we singing it so much it's because we feel dry that's why and like as you can sing that song as much as you want but until you focus on the blood of Jesus then you will feel the rain inside raining down on you so yeah guys just focus on the blood of Jesus and the cross and then it's gonna be raining <laughs> yay oh my goodness that is the first revelation the second one is this one okay it's about faith all right it's about faith. This is so big. If you guys really grasp this, if you guys really grasp it, oh man, we'd be moving mountains in no time. Okay, so we all know that verse, right? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, that verse, it's so popular. It's on every mug. It, you even have this cute little mustard seed necklace. It's on every t-shirt. Faith the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. It's like so popular, but yeah. But I really got it today. <laughs> like, <laughs> how long have I been a Christian? <laughs> but I really understood it today. So when Jesus says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, he could have used anything else that's small, 
but he chose a mustard seed. He could have said, if you had faith the size of a pebble, you know, right, right, right? A pebble is also small. Or he could have said, if you had faith the size of like something else small, but he specifically chose a mustard seed. Mm, the emphasis is right here, guys. Holy Spirit, please give it to them. The emphasis is on the seed part, S-E-E-D. People focus so much on the size. Look, there's, there's so many people out there, including me, for a long time, where, where my faith was not, I felt like it wasn't strong enough. And then I'd be like, oh, do you see the light just blink back there? I think the devil's mad. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, if you see like, um, if you see, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Oh, so if we focus on the size part, there are a lot of people who say, Oh, my faith isn't working. And Jesus says, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you could move mountains. Well, maybe I have faith a quarter of a mustard seed, you know? Maybe my faith is not as big as a mustard seed yet. And then people are so focused on the size part. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed. But they're, they're forgetting the seed part, that faith is a seed. That is the key. Faith is a seed. All right, that you plant in the ground and you got to keep watering it, watering it, and then it grows. It grows roots first, and you can't see what's happening because it's buried, but you put water on it, and then it grows into a tree, and it grows into one of the biggest plants. The Bible says the mustard seed grow into one of the biggest plants, and the birds can make nests in it. So the point here. Um, so I was, let me give you a real life example of how God taught me and I pray that this would help you guys too. I just love the way he teaches me. Oh my goodness, thank you Jesus. Ah! So I work at a retail store, okay? And my job is to scan the inventory. So almost every day I have to scan out the empty stuff with the scanner thing that you scan, right? And my scanner thing broke one day it just started glitching and saying you must open a ticket blah 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 not working and i was like oh no lord i have three hours left in my shift if this thing breaks i don't know what else i can do because this is my only job for the day i have to scan out the store and then i was like you know what i'm just gonna pray and so i prayed i prayed once father god please fix this scanner please let it work in jesus name amen and then i scan it bing, and then it worked it made the ping sound that means it's working and so i was like oh, it worked and then i scan again and then it goes Arr! and then the error message come up and then i was like oh man and usually people at that point they give up but I decided I'm going to pray a second time. There's nothing wrong with praying twice, okay guys? Nothing wrong with that. So I prayed a second time and then I scanned it and it worked. And then the error message came up. And then I decided, you know what? I'm just going to say this other powerful, listen very closely, this other powerful quote. And it's this, thank you, Father, for you have heard me. It is so powerful, that one. Thank you, Father, for you have heard me. Look, that's what Jesus said before Lazarus was raised from the dead, okay? Lazarus was still dead. And Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Thank you, Father, for you have heard me. Yo, Lazarus was still dead at that time. But Jesus said that. And then after he said that, he said, Lazarus, come out. And a dead man came walking out alive and well. So the point here is, when after you pray for something and you still see like you still don't see the results you want to see then you hit it with another really powerful force which is thank you father for you have heard me and then after that you hit it again with thank you so much father god for making this work you hit it with praise and thanksgiving okay so a lot of people, they would pray 
and then they hit it with um, praise and thanksgiving, but they forget the middle chunk part, which is, thank you, Father, for you have heard my prayer. If we forget that, then we would just be like, thank you, God, blah, 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 blah. And we would go into empty praise and empty thanksgiving because deep down we believe that he hasn't heard us, you see? But the point here is, when you believe that God has heard you, and the best way to do that is to say it with your mouth, thank you, Father God, for you have heard me, and then, boom, you hit it with praise and thanksgiving. That's just like the mustard seed of faith that you put in the ground. Did you see it just blink again? The, the, the lights. <laughs> Then you put it in the ground and you cover it and that's faith, okay? You plant a seed. Planting the seed is prayer, okay? Because you're relying on God for the growth. You're not trying to grow it yourself, but you're relying on God for the growth. That's why your faith is called a mustard seed. You plant it in the ground, you bury it, and then you wait. And then you say, Thank you, Father, for you have heard me. That's the same as watering the seed, okay? And then the roots start growing out. And then you just hit it again. Just keep hitting it with thanksgiving and praise. And then boom, before you know it, oh my goodness. That's what happened, guys. So I was scanning the thing. The error message came up and I was like, thank you, Father, for you have heard me. And then I scanned again and then it worked. And I was like, ah! and, then, <laughs> and then I was like, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I was like, thank you, Lord. Praise God. And then I scanned again, and it just worked. And the error message did not come up. I just went, ding, 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 ding. This is huge for a retail employee, okay? Anyone in retail would get it. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, <gasps> the error message did not come up. And then I would scan it, and then it worked, ping, 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 ping. Guys, all it took was prayer. So I would pray, and then um, I would get pushed back. So then I would say, thank you, Father, for you have heard me. And then I would hit it with praise and thanksgiving. And then, boom, faith just rolls like that a ball of ice down an avalanche. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Just keeps rolling. Anyway, an, a biblical example of this is in 1 Kings verse 44, right? So there was a drought and then Elijah was praying, right? And then Ahab was with Elijah and then Elijah prayed. It says here, he bowed himself down on earth and put his face between his knees and he prayed for rain, right? And then he told his servant, go up now and look toward the sea. And the servant went up and looked and said, there is nothing. That is what a lot of us say after we pray. We pray and we're like, we don't see anything. We cannot be like the servant. We got to be like Elijah here. Yo. So then... What did Elijah do? And then Elijah prayed, not just two times, he prayed seven times, look. And he said, go, tell the servant, go again seven times. And then at the seventh time, the servant came back and he said, behold, a little cloud the size of a man's hand is rising from the sea. And then Elijah just be like, Ahab, grab your chariot and go home, lest the rain stop you. So, so there was a little cloud this big. So when you see breakthrough, even a little breakthrough, that's when you'd be like, oh, oh my goodness, let's prepare for our downpour, woohoo. So Elijah, he didn't even see it himself. His servant saw it. His servant was like, Elijah, there's a little cloud about this big over there. And then Elijah's like, oh, everybody, there's going to be downpour right now. So guys, that's how it is with faith. So we pray and pray until we see that little breakthrough. And when we see that, we grab onto it and then we hit it with praise and thanksgiving. We hit it with 
thank you, Father, for you have heard me. And then praise and thanksgiving, and you can bet. Oh, that little mustard seed going to grow up into a big tree. And you're going to see amazing things manifested in your life. Hallelujah. So I hope these two revelations really blew your mind as they did mine. I'm all dancing here. So yeah, guys, God bless you. Hope you had an amazing Pentecost Sunday. May you be filled with the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Lord would anoint you guys for ministry, that he would anoint you to move powerfully in your walk with God this Sunday. And I pray that he would walk with you all the days of your life. And you would continue to know Jesus. Because to know him is eternal life. To know God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. I want you guys to continue to know him. Okay, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you all. Bye-bye.